Hey y'all, welcome back to Spirit of the Outdoors. What we're doing today is building a rocket stove. Uh, this is some four inch uh, square tubing. I've got a two foot piece and I had a one foot piece and then some pieces for a cross on the top and then a base put on it is simply all you need. I had somebody want me to build them one so I just decided I'd film building this. So we're going to try to make a short video, not go into a whole lot of depth on building a rocket stove. Y'all, there's a thousand videos out there on building a rocket stove, but they're very simple to build. But I am going to show you how in this video. This song is extremely loud. The dude's on here and I go to holler at you. I had to get my dad's war bonnet. Mine give up the ghost. The digital batteries in it, uh, the batteries went dead, the digital part probably coming on and off. So, but anyway, that's kind of welded right there, y'all. If I may say so myself. Now that over there looks like it's got a bubble or two in it. I gotta put another bead across the top of this. But I ain't a half bad welder. Not with a not with a wire welder anyway. If you can write your name, you can weld with it. Alright, I found a piece of scrap plate. And y'all, we're building this strictly out of scraps. So, uh, that, is, that is the way we like to do things around here. You know? Inches and being this is about half an inch, 
Uh, it may be three eighths, but it's really close to half an inch. Then I mark five and a quarter, five and a quarter, and time I space it over on each side of this, they'll both be 11 inches. So let me cut that. <laughs> Cut this hole out right here with the torch. And I could have cut it out while ago with that grinder, but I just, I prefer to cut it with the, once it's built, I can see what I'm doing. Just my way. <laughs> rocket stove oh there's not a whole lot to making one of these now you can make them as fancy and as nice or whatever you want to do there's a lot of variations you don't have to make it exactly like I did I just go at stuff I don't get precise but this is two foot tall and this is a one foot piece with a 45 cut on it use both pieces now this helps shield that air and once it pulls in kind of helps it with updraft but if you outside it'll keep the rain off the back of it from filling in the bottom of it, which obviously this is gonna fall water. So if you wanna cut you a drain hole in the bottom of that in the middle, I mean, there's a lot of things you could do. Now, one of the things that I talked about with some people the other day, let me lay this over where you can see. We talked about making this air hole back under here adjustable. I did not do it on this one for the simple fact that I have not figured out the best way to do that with your guard and all that on there. You could do away with this, and this probably ain't necessary, but it just looks good on there to me. You could probably do it 
without that on there and make it adjustable. I do know that back air hole really needs to be there. I've seen some without it. It will work without it, but it smothers. When you put a bunch of wood in there, it'll smother it out. So this has been the, the this works for me. You've seen me cook on it. Now, I wound up welding a ring that I happen to have on mine to where I could set that disc blade down in there. Uh, but now you can cook with a skillet just as good on there and probably use just a handful of oil, same way, but that, that shaped like a wok, that disc blade. You can deep fry, you can do a lot of other stuff with it. You can push stuff up to the side as it's cooking and then bring it back down there. It just works better for me cooking to get away from the heat, back down in the heat to cook like I wanna cook. But anyway, this is the Rocket Stove. Thank y'all for watching Spirited Outdoors. We'll see y'all next time. Remember, the best way to do things is the way you like to do it. Now, we'll see y'all. Y'all have a good one.